How are you doing math learners? This is your free access math teacher Ash and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss how to solve these polynomials divided by a binomial using the synthetic division. So, before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. math learners welcome to another session here in ml with sir ash and today we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency based lesson for grade 10 mathematics for quarter one week six and now this is all about the synthetic division now synthetic division is another way of dividing polynomials one thing is long division the other thing is factor theorem and the, the remainder theorem and this is also another way so let us check whether how can we apply division or proper way of dividing polynomials using the synthetic division now let me just emphasize that synthetic division is very very easy to understand and this is for me this is also one of the easiest and fastest way to divide polynomials especially if you have a binomial so let's start now for example number one we have 7x squared minus 4x plus 12 plus 3x cubed divided by x plus 1 now how do we divide this one using the synthetic division now in synthetic division what is very um, essential here is the coefficients of each term now the coefficients here are 7, negative 4, 12, and positive 3. Those are the numbers beside the variables. But remember that the term should be in a descending order. Meaning, you need to write first or you need to arrange first the expression from the highest degree down to the lowest degree. Now, if we consider this polynomial, this is not arranged in the highest degree because the highest degree here is this one, right? So therefore, so first thing we should do is we need to arrange the expression. So we have 3x cubed then followed by the x squared that is positive 7x squared. Then the x which is this one, the constant term and sorry, the linear term and finally we have the constant term okay so we have the cubic term the quadratic term the linear term and the constant term okay divided by x plus 1 okay now this is very crucial because in using synthetic division what you need to do is you just make a small box here in which the number that you will be putting here is the divisor now we have here x plus 1 right now, how do we know the value that we will use in this part? Very simple. You just need to equate this, x plus 1, into 0. And then, you use the transposing transposition method. So, you transpose plus 1 to the other side. That is 0 minus 1. So, x is equal to negative 1. Okay? So, therefore, this negative 1 will be the 1 as the divisor for your coefficients. Okay? Next, what you need to do is you will write all the coefficients in this given polynomial. So therefore, we have 3, 7, negative 4, and positive 12. Okay. Then, step 3 is you will make a long line. The technique here is very simple. Remember this technique. Drop times add drop times add drop times add sir what does drop times add means first is you drop this one so the first term then you multiply this one to your divisor so three times negative one that is negative three drop times and then you add this one seven plus negative three is positive four you repeat the same operation, drop times, 
that is negative 4. Then add, that is negative 8. It is drop, you multiply, that is positive 8. Then you add 12 plus 8, that is 20. Now, the question is, Sir Ash, what are these numbers represent? Okay, the degree 3 will reduce to a lower or one level lower to its degree and that is square. So therefore, this 3 will have an x squared. This 4 will have an x. And this 8 here will become your constant term. Since this is not yet a, an expression, so 3x squared, you just put here plus because that is positive. And you just consider this one as minus or negative 8. Okay, so we have the 3x squared plus 4x minus 8. Now, what is this last number? The last number will serve as your remainder. Okay, remainder. So that is your remainder. Now, what is the final answer if you divide 7x squared minus 4x plus 12 plus 3x cubed by x plus 1? The answer is 3x squared plus 4x minus 8, remainder 20, or 3x squared plus 4x minus 8 plus 20 over x minus 1. Oh, sorry, x plus 1. One, because that is your divisor. Okay? Now, if you want to check this one, this one, you multiply by this one, and then you add it by 20, you will arrive to your dividend. Sounds easy, right? Okay, let's give some more examples. Okay, math learners, we are now in our third example. That is x to the fourth minus 4x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10 divided by x minus 5. Okay, so first we get our divisor. That is x minus 5, so transposing it will give us positive 5. Okay, then we get the coefficients of each term. This is 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Therefore, all of the terms are available and... We, they are also in the correct arrangement. So, we'll just get the coefficients. There is no number here that is visible, but that is positive 1. We have negative 4, negative 6, positive 3, positive 10. We make a long line. Okay? Drop times. Okay? Then add. That is positive 1. Drop times. Okay, then add, that is negative 1, times, then add, that is negative 2, times, that is negative 10. And if we add this one, 0. If your remainder is 0, then you don't have any remainder at all. Okay, now this is x to the fourth, it is being divided by one degree or a degree of one. Therefore, we will lower down our degree for our answer and that is cube. So that we have cube. We, since this is positive, we can just put one. This is squared. Okay, then this is x. Then that is our constant term. So we have cubic term, quadratic term, const, uh, linear term, and the constant term. So if we try to um, organize our answer, this one here is not needed to be written. So we have x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 2. And that is our final answer. Okay, easy, right? I hope you got that one because that is very, very a good example for a division without a remainder. Okay, now let us go to the fourth example. Okay, math learners, for our fourth example, we have a quadratic term. And divided by a binomial. Okay, for actually if you are a grade 9 student or a grade 8 student, this is applicable or this can be just simply answered through factoring. But since we are using synthetic division, we will apply this one. Okay, with the boxing. And we have here 
our divisor that is plus 6 if we transpose that one that will give us negative 6 okay this is 2 1 okay the constant term so therefore all of the terms are available and they are arranged in a correct order so we will get the coefficients the coefficient of this one is 1 this one is 5 and this one is negative 6 we make a long line drop times add 5 plus negative 6 that is negative 1 times positive 6 adding them okay so we don't have any remainder for this one so since this is y squared lowering down a certain degree that will be y okay so just y so that is 1 y minus 1 or if we organize our answer we have y minus 1 and that is our final answer is it right? Now, let's go to our final example. Okay, math learners, we have here a fifth degree. X to the fifth minus 1 divided by X minus 1. Most of the students are uh, very confused in this kind of example because they, they just cancel them. No, that is wrong, my dear math learners. What you will do here is you need to consider all of the terms not available, especially when you are using synthetic division. So, first... We will use the divisor, so we transpose minus 1 here, so that will become positive 1. Now, let us name all the coefficient. We have the fifth term, right? Okay, so fifth term, that is 1. The fourth, to the fourth term, not available. To the third term, to the third power rather, to the third power, not available. To the second power, not available. To the first power, not available. And our constant term is 1. So therefore, that is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then no variable. We make a long line. We bring it down. That is 1. You add them. That is 1. You add them. Drop times add. Drop times add. Drop then times and then add if you add this one the answer is zero so therefore since this is x to the fifth power divided by one de the degree of one then we will lower down our answer to the x to the fourth so we have x to the fourth x cubed x squared x then no x or constant and then we just apply the signs which in which these are all positive because that is positive we don't have any remainder okay and if we organize our answer we have x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus one and that will be our final answer and this is how you answer or divide polynomials using synthetic division now this is the time that i will challenge whether you have understood our lesson for today and here it is i hope you have learned a lot of things about how to divide polynomials using the synthetic division if you still have any confusion about the certain method you can also comment or you can also write in our comment section below this is still your free access math teacher Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you for all your support. And if this channel really helped you, kindly please share this to your friends. Thank you, God bless, and always stay safe. Fellow math learners, if you think you like this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button. That is if you are committed of learning mathematics the easy way. Thank you.